Hey guys, welcome to another Vetsim video here on the FS2 Downs to 4 Aviation Pro channel. Today I've got a little video for you to demonstrate a new app I've recently found, which enables you to control the communication radios uh, on Flight Simulator with your iPhone or iPad. Um, I've got a video right here that demonstrates how to actually configure this add-on or app. Uh, it's very easy, but I'll just demonstrate in, you in this video how how it uh, works and how easy it is for especially vets and pilots because of course you need to switch between frequencies uh, quite often and um, yeah, this tool enables you to do that via your iPhone instead of clicking those radio stacks in the um, virtual cockpit which can be a bit of a hassle sometimes so I'll just zoom in on the radio stack here on the iFly 737 and I'm going to switch this add-on on basically it connects Via a little tool you have to install on Windows, um, it connects uh, the iPhone with a flight simulator. And basically, all you have to do is change the frequency in the standby box. You can very easily rotate the big and the small knob. And if you want to switch to another frequency, you simply press on the transfer button. And as you can see, it um, transfers the frequency into the active uh, channel also in the iFly 737 and it's very easy of course um, it also uh, changes frequencies very quickly as you can see there's absolutely no delay um, you can also switch to the uh, second communication radio which you will find on the uh, right uh, to show you here on the iFly 737 um, so you can change the frequencies there as well very easily just switch to the first radio again so it's a very handy app, uh, you can download it on the uh, App Store, it's called Remote Flight and in this video right here I'll show you how to properly configure and install it. So guys that's it, um, it's a very handy app, the only drawback I found is that it doesn't synchronize when you're changing the digits, but that's not really a big problem, I guess it's a bit hard for the developer to create, um, I don't know. But at least it does the job, you know, and it's uh, very handy. You can very quickly change your frequencies and you don't have to mess around with the mouse in the virtual cockpit. So guys, that's it from FS2000 for Aviation Pro. Um, please like and comment on this video if, if you have any questions, of course. And um, uh, stay tuned on the channel because um, in June and July I will upload lots and lots of vets and videos for you. So stay tuned with that. Um, for now, I would like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.